This is the MT Predictor weekly update for March 20th. Uh, here I've got the chart, the uh, daily chart of the NQ, the NASDAQ, and you can see we had a nice clean five wave pattern up here. Wave four and a five. In fact, we had a long signal that I showed a few weeks ago on the uh, TS2 long, wave four into wave five. We hit the wave five target there, and uh, users of the software know that we can take a decision point uh, off this uh, wave four low here, because typically after the market hits a wave five up, you get an ABC type correction into the wave four DP, and I'll put the DP on for you here. Okay, one click there, and we have our support area. So basically, if the market corrects here, it should correct down into this wave four DP uh, area, support area. And as the uh, NQ unfolded from here, you could see a lot of the uh, market instability came into play. Uh, as far as the news events that it was digesting overseas from Libya to Japan and boom came right into our decision point uh, target there and found support got a blue buyers bar that uh, marked uh, the low and this is where we ended on uh, Friday so we'll see now uh, does the trend that was in place prior to the correction continue, similar to what we had in gold a while ago, uh, or uh, does this uh, decision point support area get taken out and a new trend uh, is underway? We will uh, find out. Let's just look at the uh, risk reward on this particular uh, trade. If you did uh, take that, look at that nice six, uh, better than six to one risk reward on that. So a nice little daily trade set up for those that uh, uh, had had seen that one. Uh, as far as the the Dow uh, mini contract here, the YM, it's come into. Remember, I put this uh, wave four support area back last week. We were right here, had just come below the 50-day moving average. We hit the wave four support. Uh, it's come down. We've got a blue buyer, uh, blues, blue buyers bar here. And uh, so we're going to see. Uh, is this support and uh, do we make a run up to here's the, the DP at the other end here off the wave four swing high and that would be uh, kind of the next target area and wave five up uh, as you can see the prior times here that the market has come down into these areas below the 50-day uh, there have been buying opportunities here's another one back here another uh, buying opportunity below the 50-day and so we'll see now, as we've come below the 50-day, is, is this going to be looked at as another buying opportunity? So far, uh, we've got some buying coming in. And we'll see. Do they get uh, back close above the 50-day and make another run uh, that's going to be up into the 12,490 uh, to 12,630 uh, area? Uh, we'll see. That's in the uh, Dow. And then on the weekly Dow here, we've got a little uh, minor uh, four-wave pattern here into support. Again, we'll see if this holds. The bigger picture on the, uh, if I put the intermediate analysis on here, uh, up here, we had a uh, intermediate wave five up and uh, have begun to correct the minor wave four support so we'll see uh, if this weekly uh, 50 period here's the 200 day or uh, uh, t the 200 period moving average here you see your adx down here below and your uh, uh, dmis uh, red line coming close to the blue line either they come together and separate again in which case we'll get another leg up or they, they do end up crossing, and chances are we've got some more downside, especially if we get below the weekly 200 period. Uh, so we will uh, we will see how these uh, play out, but uh, interesting setups. And then just taking a look at, we had a, uh, 
uh, in our trading room on Friday, we had the Dow Mini contract uh, set up a what we call our Holy Grail uh, trade set up, and uh, we had this uh, significant high here. It was a gap up. We had a correction to that, and then a rally back up. That fell short of uh, making a new high there. We've got an automatic TS1 uh, sell signal here. This is against the bigger trend, uh, but this is what we call our Holy Grail setup, and then and many times this will set up against the uh, the typical or the uh, uh, existing trend. And uh, if I just put the uh, minor uh, analysis on here, you see we had a nice little ABC pattern into this TS1 setup, which we like to see after this. Um, uh, swing high here, the first correction, and then uh, an ABC pattern unfold into a wave two, basically, is what we're looking for. So we put the analysis on this. Okay, it sets up our trade for us. Here's the first target. Now, now, oops, now what we want to do when this is a potential holy grail trade setup is pass on the first target and we're looking for the wave three down here, our typical wave three down. And uh, now some in the trading room did end up taking this target here, and some allowed this to uh, to uh, play out a bit. Now you had a long signal here, and you had to make a decision because this was with the trend. Some exited the uh, short position at this point for again a little better than two to one risk reward there but those that stuck with it and at the time we said look you're going to end up being in this trade for a while it was uh, quadruple witching options expiration and uh, so there were a lot of things going on on Friday so we said if you're going to stick with the trade expect to be in it you know uh, uh, most of the day and uh, and that was the case but eventually the market did uh, begin to come down let me just drag the target here and did hit the target there nicely and we can redo the trade here and you can see for those that were able to stick it out on a on a Friday afternoon we rewarded with a, about a 5 to 1 uh, in this case about an $1800 uh, profit on a risk of $375 so a uh, nice day on Friday uh, especially if you were able to stick with that one so that's the analysis for this week and some uh, updates from the trading room. And uh, we'll take a look at the markets again next week. And uh, kind of an interesting uh, position in the markets here. Uh, have we topped? Have we, have we found support now and looking for the next leg up? We'll see. And we'll see you next week.